What's going on everybody? Gamer King Tar Heel here. We've got another PlayStation Vita preview this time for you guys. We're going to look at Madden 2013. The demo was released today and I got a little info that I've looked up that I would share with you guys before it comes out in a couple weeks. A couple points I want to get to and the first most important is the commentary. Last year I bought Madden for my PS3 and I returned it the next day because of the commentary. It was just atrocious. Uh, the Gus Johnson, Chris Collinsworth combination just didn't work. I remember playing a preseason game as the Carolina Panthers and completing a four yard pass and Gus Johnson just starts screaming at the top of his lungs and I was like, oh my God, this is not gonna work. And I took it back and I traded it in and literally lost 20 bucks on the trade, but I didn't care. I just wanted that thing out of my house. Thankfully, last year's combination was universally hated and EA went ahead and made the change and they switched it over to Jim Nance and Phil Simms. The commentary from the demo isn't anything compared to NBA 2K series or anything like that, but it's so much better than what was before, I will take that as a minor victory. Graphically, the game features all the big dynamic camera angles and big large stadium zooms that the regular PS3 version does. The character models look a little dull, but that's to be expected. My biggest issue that I had with Madden was how are they going to deal with the frame rate? Madden makes my PS3 chug a little bit when coming out of the huddle and snapping the ball, so I was wondering how it was going to be on the Vita, and to no surprise, the frame rate does suffer, but it doesn't suffer during the actual gameplay all that much. It suffers when it does those big dramatic camera angles everywhere. Frame rate issue aside, Gameplay is what's important, and what you're getting here is actual Madden gameplay, which I think is a big plus for the Vita. You're not playing some watered-down, you know, iPad version, flicking with your, you know, motion control. You're actually getting to play the real, essential version of what you played last year on your PlayStation Vita. I'm going to pick up Madden when it comes out, and I'm sure there's a lot of people out there that are really excited about having a true Madden in the handheld system. One of the reasons I'm not 100% behind this is the lack of cloud save. For some reason, EA decided not to implement the cloud save feature from MLB The Show, where you can take your franchise with you mobily and upload it to your PS3. Your PS3 and your Vita are going to have to have two separate franchises, which I think just alienates you know, the whole concept. I've, there's not two days that go by that I don't play MLB The Show on either my Vita or my franchise and switch them back over. It has extended the life of that game immensely and has made it that it is absolutely one of my favorite games that I play almost daily. In my opinion, this works even better in a football game because you can play a whole quarter of your season on a lunch break, come home, go to your PlayStation, upload it, and keep playing, and you can literally play season after season on your franchise in just a matter of days being able to take it on your Vita. It also really hurts the market share of the Vita because you're losing so many of those Madden fanatics that would love the idea of taking their franchise on the road with them. Well, everyone, that's it for the little preview. As always, leave me comments below. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you guys are going to pick up Madden or if there's anything else you're excited about coming up. And uh, that's it. Have a great night and take care. Bye.